everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime, and you better like and subscribe to this video because, well, subscribe to the channel, I should say, because if you don't, I will remove the micro SD card feature from your Nintendo Switch. Now, if that feature's already not working, subscribe and I will remove that software lock so you can enjoy the full experience of spending an extra couple hundred dollars to put one terabyte worth of storage on your Switch. Shout out to Bowser, by the way, for today's tech tip on <laughs> Today we have some slippery, well-wet news for you, so be sure to watch your step while I serenade you. Ooh, welcome to Nintendo Prime. Yeah, yeah. Where Nintendo news is quite divine. Oh, oh. Hey, Steve, you better not have turned on auto-tune. If you did, you ruined my song. You ruined my song. Someone's gonna have to get that guy a new job. I think, uh, think you're dismissed. Sorry you had to hear that, folks. So we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, if you would like to enter, just go click clacky on that viral sweep link down in the description or the pinned comment, or don't. I ain't your mother. I can't make you do anything you don't want to do. So yeah, if you don't care, then. Move on with your day. Today we actually have a bevy of news for you, so I hope your mind is hungry. Uh, we have news on a potential 4K Switch and maybe a certain 4K game launching next year. Uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. In fact, what's the deal with 4K anyway? The resolution is 3840 by 2160. So 4K doesn't even make sense. And yeah, I know you keyboard warriors are out there click clacking away trying to tell me how, oh, but it's four times the resolution of 1080p. Okay, cool, but we call 1080p 1080p. Wouldn't this be 2160p? It's not like we sat there and went, hey, when 1080p came out, you know what it is? It's 2.25k because, you know, that's the exact resolution bump over 480p. I literally think that this is one of the stupidest things that exists in this industry, but uh, whatever. It's 4K, Ultra HD, blah, 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 even though it's 3840 by 2160. Do you love pizza? Would you like to work for a pizza company and actually get a Nintendo Switch for free? Ha <laughs> ha, well, we got some news for you today for that. Of course, you could just deliver pizzas for a couple weekends, use your tips, buy a Switch anyways, and not rely on a lottery at an employer, but what do I know? Because nothing goes better together than a weekend of gaming on your Nintendo Switch with your greasy palms full of all of that glorious cheesy pepperoni grease off that slice of pizza you brought home from work. Oh, and by the way, be sure you drink your Mountain Dew and maybe spill a little bit of it on your Joy-Cons because I hear that Mountain Dew is now the new hot trend out there to fix your Joy-Con drift. In fact, Nintendo might even be injecting Mountain Dew directly into your control sticks nowadays, and that is how they have improved the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. Well, that news should be fun. We also have some news on Paper Mario coming to Nintendo Switch, like next week, which I don't really understand the appeal of Paper Mario. Like, literally, if you're just sweating, wouldn't the paper just disintegrate and Mario would just vanish? And then we get into a Mario is missing situation, which... Mario is Missing is actually quite an interesting game. Maybe that should be the thing coming to Switch instead. Whatever, let's get into today's news. So Paper Mario is coming to Nintendo Switch online literally next week on December 10th. This is actually the official trailer released by Nintendo for it. Uh, obviously, this is exciting for some people that are big fans of this 21-year-old game. That's right, it released back in the year of 2000 on the N64. Quite crazy. Uh, but it also brings up a number of concerns as well. One, we didn't think we were actually going to get any more N64 games this year. Uh, but now that we are, it's one title in December, leading us to feel like they're only going to release maybe one title a month or one title every other month. And that's concerning for a lot of people that want things to be added much quicker. I mean, that leads to a maximum of 12 new games over the next year or if it's every other month, only six. That is a big, big, big concern. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's cool that it's here for those that want to play a 21 year old game. Uh, it is really good. I think Thousand Year Door is better, but the original Paper Mario is actually 
a really nice game and I'm glad to see it at least coming over. Of course, it doesn't alleviate concerns over the emulation because, well, yeah, we all know N64 Online has had a little bit of issues with emulation, not to the point that it's making games unplayable, but they could be better. Maybe releasing them one at a time will ensure they actually are better, but I guess, you know what, we don't have to wait long. We'll find out next week, the day after the Game Awards, actually. Quite interesting, like, how things are lining up. We have an amazing podcast on the 8th, we got the Game Awards on the 9th, and then Paper Mario dropping that Friday, so... Um, yeah, I guess uh, look forward to some Paper Mario action. So Domino's Pizza is actually trying a new promotion to get new employees by offering the potential of a Nintendo Switch. Uh, unfortunately, PlayStation 5 apparently wasn't cool enough to be part of this. I mean, if you're part of that Yo Noid crowd, clearly you want a Nintendo platform, right? Uh, so I'm reading all this news right off of uh, Nintendo Life. And they say there aren't that many things in life better than gaming and pizza. And that's exactly what popular pizza chain Domino's is offering to new employees in Australia. The perks are being offered up to one lucky new worker in a bid to get more people applying for jobs. That's right, they're only giving away one. I mean, we just gave away three OLEDs in the last like two months. So get your shit together, Domino's, seriously. Um, the perks are being offered up to one uh, new, new worker in a bid to get more people to apply for jobs. Australia's Nine Now News Network reports that companies are doing whatever they can to combat a worker shortage across the country, and that Domino's alone has around 7,000 jobs to fill. Speaking to Nine Now, Domino's' David Burness said, We're actually offering for one of our successful applicants that they'll win a Nintendo Switch and free pizza for a year. So whoever that person is, they're going to be very popular with their mates. Most of them would be part-time or casual at this stage, but we've got a really strong principle of promoting within, he said. We don't know about you, but a Switch and free pizza sounds pretty great to us. We've no idea what the pay actually is, uh, and, and, and actually what's more important, the real benefits of working there, uh, the job security or the levels of respect and care given to employees. Um, but hey, you know what? A Switch and pizza. If you know anyone in Australia looking for a job, maybe send them to Domino's. It, it's interesting, my dad actually um, worked at Domino's for over 20 years and uh, got promoted and, and actually made a decent amount of money there. But uh, that was here in the United States. I'm not really sure what it's like in Australia. Domino's Pizza, by the way, is some of my favorite pizza out there. I just kind of find the whole story itself to be weird. Um, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? It's Domino's, it's pizza, free pizza for a year and a switch for one employee. Remember, they have 7,000 jobs to fill. So imagine they filled all 7,000 but only one person won that prize. Um, doesn't really sound that great but i guess for that one person because someone's gonna win it um i guess congratulations on your free pizza and whatever i mean hopefully it's like someone that's like a teenager or whatever though they're not gonna like blow up by eating that much pizza but hey it's cool all right now this next story comes uh on the rumor mill uh so obviously you could throw your tinfoil hats on you know i got mine just kind of sitting here at the ready um so you could throw your tinfoil hats on and start to be super skeptical on this but I like to report on stuff uh, that, you know, in videos like this that come from fairly reliable people. And in this case, it comes from Tiffany Treadmore on Twitter. Um, you guys know we've reported on stuff from her in the past uh, or him. I'm not really sure uh, who this person is. Uh, but the reason we keep reporting is because they are right on a lot of stuff. As an example, they said Dot Hack was going to be coming to Nintendo Switch next year. And it was actually just announced today in, for Japan to launch on March 10th. 2022. So just another thing to kind of put a feather in the cap that Tiffany Tremor might indeed have some inside sources, especially from Japan. So Tiffany Tremor went a bit on a little, uh, what is this, a four tweet, five tweet storm, um, talking about stuff happening next year. And this is where we get into the 4K stuff, uh, and the VR stuff, not so much, but 4K Nintendo Switch goodness. Here's what she tweeted out. A bunch of new red and white console company rumors just came in via a big N source from Japan. We'll be sharing these throughout the day. So rumor one, the sequel to Adventure Goes Out Into the Wild, Adventurer Goes Out Into the Wild, so Breath of the Wild 2, um, has been developed with 4K support. Reports state that there is a playable test copy that's seen in full, in full 4K. So that's kind of cool. Uh, rumor two, at least five fully developed games are supposed to come out between 7 4 2022 and 12 31 2022 that were developed with the intention of full 4K support and expanded memory usage. So this sounds like a more powerful switch. They will be launching prior to the release of the 4K red and white console company device. So what they're saying is 
we're gonna get these five games. They're gonna come out before the 4K device comes out, but obviously when the 4K Switch or whatever comes out, it will obviously be able to promote these games that are already 4K ready to go day one. Uh, rumor three, as part of its extended offerings, subscribers to the expanded online experience from red and white console companies, so the expansion pack of Nintendo Switch Online, will receive a discount on digital game purchases beginning in 2022, which that would be awesome. I would like to see there actually be some tangible benefits and discounts on digital purchases is tangible. Rumor four, there are four former console types currently being prepped for release on the expanded online package from Red and White Console Company. Additional rare games are going to be coming soon as well. So we all have Banjo-Kazooie, but maybe we'll see some other stuff. Maybe we'll see Perfect Dark. Who knows, maybe Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, but yeah, four former console types are being prepped for release. I'm not sure if this means four former games. This means four additional consoles. We know about Game Boy, Game Boy Color rumors. Who really knows what else could be included in this service? But what I do know is this is all really, really exciting. So let me know what you think about all of this news today. Uh, if you enjoyed my little bit of fun I've had at the intro, I'm trying to spice things up a bit and make this a bit more entertaining. We had all our time snaps and everything so people could jump around. Maybe they skipped all the good fun, but it's all right, folks. Enjoy your Domino's pizza with your free Switch that's going to be in 4K next year with Breath of the Wild 2, baby. Because that's what we do here. We talk about some fun shit. Catch you guys in the next video.